Windows XP multi monitor tutorial with a bonus free software explanation of something called Display Fusion. So real quickly here, if you've got Internet Explorer open or any other window and you have multiple monitors, right now I just happen to have two. If you want to move this window from the left monitor to the right monitor, normally it's a multi-step process. You have to resize the window, grab the window with the left mouse, drag it over to the desired location, let go, and then resize. If you want to come back, same step. Resize the window, drag, release, resize. All right. Now, depending upon how often you are moving your windows around, I found a bit of software called Display Fusion that cuts that process down. There's a pro version that you pay for, and there's also a free version that you can download and install. It's pretty small. It's 1.64 megabytes, so instead of downloading, I'm just going to go ahead and run because I've got a decent connection here. And once it downloads, I'm going to hit the open button actually run and I'm going to take most of the defaults here English as the default language go ahead and hit next I accept the license agreement next again next again next again next and I have no license key again this is the free version and I'm going to start display fusion at Windows startup create a desktop icon and install for all users with those options selected, I'll hit install and it will eventually install and there may be a, another window. I'm going to launch it as well. That's one of the options here. Hit finish. And what you should see up in the top right hand corner of the window that's open here, not sure if you noticed that, but there's another option that popped up here. Normally you have the X to close out of the window. You have the restore down is what it's called button that will actually resize the window and then you have minimize. Now you have this extra button that will move the window to the next monitor in line. So normally again you have to resize the window, drag it to the desired monitor, let go, and then maximize. Again like this, resize, drag, maximize. So there's that constant uh, resizing of the window that you have to do. But now with this extra button here, I'm able to just hit one button, and it moves it automatically, resizes it automatically to the next screen. And if you want to come back, backwards. And if you have multiple monitors, it will just continue down the, down the line of monitors that you have set up in, within Windows. But that saves a step, and again, depending upon how often you're moving monitors or moving windows from monitor to monitor, that may save you quite a bit of time. From this, this, and this, to one easy click back and forth. And another option that the free version has is now I can right click, I've got a new icon down here at the bottom, I can right click and I can change my wallpaper. If you notice, I've got the standard Bliss wallpaper, but I've got options to change wallpapers from each monitor, or I can say, I can have um, different, mon different wallpapers on each monitor, or I can span across the monitors. So what I'll do is I'll load from computer. There are a couple options here that once you install it, you'll see. But I'll load from my computer, and I downloaded a couple of different wallpapers to display here, which one is the Bliss wallpaper. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that in this video, but now it spans the Bliss wallpaper all across the screen instead of just one. And I may have time for another example real quick here. Load from my computer. I'll just choose something random here. Hit apply. And I'll also do a stretch so it goes across the entire screen. And maybe you'll be able to see that there as well. But anyway, that's a quick down and dirty Windows multiple monitors, Windows XP multiple monitors with the addition of Display Fusion. Thanks for watching.